All right, so today is absolutely a gorgeous day. I mean, look at this blue sky behind me. If today wasn't so cold, and it's not cold, it's just, it's, it's fall. It's definitely fall. You can feel the fall weather. And, uh, and so if, if it wasn't fall, this would be like the perfect summer day. Not a cloud in the sky, blue skies, no wind. It's just, it's, oh. that we were gone all day yesterday because the place where we went yesterday that with the animals was about three hours away from our house so figure three hours there three hours back that's six hours plus a couple hours we spent there so that that was pretty much a day that was lost and when we got home um ohio state was on so i, I watched ohio state play but uh so today we're gonna try to get done all the stuff around the house that needs done um, all the shopping so I'm out doing some, some quick shopping right now uh, but getting everything done that, that needs done clean the house because we still got to put away our Halloween decorations and it's already November 6th so there's always a stigma about shopping in a big box store like this a bulk store if you will um, but I have to say in reality that stigma is false um, yes it probably did help put the mom and pop shops out of business however it's not the main cause of putting mom and shop pops out of business I mean to go to a store like this as long as you're gonna use the stuff if you buy you know say you need 50 pounds of rice 66 ounces of tuna or 135 ounces of salsa as long as it's something you're going to use, why not buy in bulk? And I would say the fact that the mom and pop shops are gone, most of them, uh, there's a lot of smaller ones popping up, but you know, the major ones that these big box stores are always getting the blame for putting out of business, it's not the big box store's fault. Think about it like this. If you were in a car accident with a drunk driver, would you blame the driver or the car? No, you blame the driver, not the car. So in this situation, you're blaming the people who shop here. Like me, you can blame me for ruining the mom and pop shops, but it's the people who shop here who have made these stores what they are. And, and the fact that we're not shopping at the mom and pops anymore, that's what's put them out of business. Now, granted, I understand that might get some hate towards me, but at least the hate's directed in the right direction and not the wrong direction. So Amy and the kids have ran to go see the movie Trolls. Uh, she wanted to take them to see Trolls. I am actually on my way to a board meeting. I have a board meeting, to, it's Sunday and I've got a board meeting. I'm actually looking forward to it, but I'm also not because there's a lot of hard topics we've got to discuss today. And uh, and so I'm, I'm hoping it goes smoothly. I'm hoping we have a lot of good ideas. Unfortunately, at most board meetings, there's just a lot of bickering and nobody gets along and everybody just argues and, and people complain, but nobody comes up with ideas. Uh, on almost every board that I've ever been a part of, that's that's usually the way it goes. Um, and if anybody watches this, I'll probably never be asked to be on any other boards or elected to any other boards in the future. However, uh, reality is reality. I'm a firm believer that, that don't complain unless you can come with a better idea. Go, go. The lights turn red and this guy's still sitting in the middle. That, that's usually the way boards go. There's a lot of bickering and most people don't bring ideas or solutions. Uh, they just complain. They just want to complain and uh, they want the recognition to be on the board. I, on the other hand, I, I usually will not complain about something unless I have an idea. Might not be the greatest idea, but at least it's an idea. It's a solution, that, a potential solution that can be used. Um, I'm boring you, so I'll stop now. I think I missed a day. The video that was supposed to go up Sunday went up Monday. Um, today, I'm not even gonna make up Sunday. I'm just, I'm, it's not worth it. I'll incorporate what I did film into this video in a little bit, but uh, it's 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 over. It's done. It's it's gone. It was daylight savings time. Daylight it, that extra hour of sleep that I got really. Thank you, farmers from a long time ago who helped initiate daylight savings time um, I love you in the fall but I hate you in the spring uh, when you lose an hour in the spring it really sucks I used to have this job where I would actually go to work and it was dark out and get off work and it was dark out it was ridiculous when you work a job like that and you never get to see the Sun it's just depressing it is so depressing and there's so many jobs like that why do people do that I guess because they got to pay their bills I'm on my way to get Zachary right now from school I'm not, nothing's going, I pick him up every day, nothing, he's not like sick or anything like that, I pick him up every day, um, but I am on my way to get him, so I've already posted on the Facebook page, I'm waiting for questions to come in, so that that way I can answer the questions for you guys, and uh, there's a jet skier on the lake, and it's, it's on, 
well it is 72 today but i guarantee that water's freezing that guy's crazy i'm waiting for questions so that i can answer them and do a q a session later today and that will be uh let's see, here it is All right, so let's jump right into it. Let's do the Q&A session. Uh, I'm here to answer all the questions you guys asked me online. And no, nobody, nobody on Facebook asked me a question. Let's jump over to Twitter and see who asked me a question on Twitter. No, no, nobody asked me a question on Twitter either. So since that was a complete bust, I'm going to sit here and get a little bit of Halloween candy. Make myself feel better. Okay, so that didn't work. I, I'm, I tried. Nobody wanted to ask me a question. Maybe nobody has any questions. I don't know. I'm going to make a freaking intro for that or anything like that. That would have been a waste of time. Okay, so today, the day you're watching this, not the day I'm filming it, is Election Day in the United States. And while there's so much misinformation out there about both candidates, there's so much negativity out there, we as the people of America have to remember one thing, because I say the people of America because we're the ones who have to vote for this crap. We, the people of America, have to remember one thing thing and one thing only that this is our process and regardless of who wins the other side needs to chill the out if your candidate does not win guess what welcome to america that's the way this process works and i think we can all agree that the only real fatality that this election is going to have is facebook because that place sucks during election time. And it's gonna suck for the next four years because that candidate who lost the election, their supporters are gonna complain for the next four years about how bad the new administration's doing, about how they didn't make this choice, and every other thing they can complain about because that's what Facebook has become. So Facebook, rest in peace 2016. Also, just wanna give you an update on the board meeting that we had yesterday. It was enlightening. The one thing that I realized during the board meeting is hard decisions are never easy. And I know that might sound kind of obvious. However, when you're really put into tough situations and you have to make hard decisions that could affect others, it's very difficult to take the emotion out of it. Um, and it kind of reminded me of this whole election thing that I was talking about. Uh, the emotion side of things is probably the, the worst, the worst part of human nature as far as, as how we perceive or approach different uh, tasks or, or things that we have to do. People tend to get too emotional about stuff and, and not look at it as this is just a business decision. So we made some tough decisions yesterday and, and we came up with some, some good stuff. Uh, but the, the organization I think is on the right path. But I do know that the nine individuals on the board are very, we're going to make things happen. We're going to make the organization a lot better. I just wanted to put that out there just because of what I said earlier about attending it. Too many times you go to these type of events and everybody just wants to complain, uh, but nobody brings any solutions and there were a lot of solutions that were brought up. That's a good philosophy to have in life, whether it be at school, business, or anything like that. Always bring solutions. One, you're going to be much more respected by your colleagues, classmates, teachers, bosses if you're bringing solutions as opposed to just somebody who complains all the time. Another thing, I haven't been doing any kind of off for these videos I kind of just been ending them uh, at, at different spots and just kind of that's the way I end it I'm probably gonna change that here soon and kind of start doing some different things but make sure you do the basics make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel uh, go to the Facebook page follow me on Facebook follow me on Twitter all that stuff's down below down in the, the links below you can find all that information um, the subscribe button press the subscribe button make sure you're subscribed that way you're gonna know every time I launch a new video the launch times for the videos have been kind random I'm probably gonna modify that time and, and come up with a specific schedule of when the video should drop 
when you should expect it in your inbox if you want to watch it when it comes out. I haven't kind of gotten to that yet. It's kind of as I can get to it. A lot of times I'll try to edit the video before I go to bed uh, and then overnight it'll export and then I upload it first thing in the morning. Uh, sometimes I don't get to it until first thing in the morning. So I want to make sure that, that I leave myself enough time to be able to do what I need to do for the video to create the video, but then it's not interfering with my regular work because I cannot afford to have this venture be a detriment to my company. Uh, my company is very important to me. It, it pays my bills. It makes sure that, that my family has a roof over their head, food. That is more important to me than making these daily vlogs. So I just want you to know that, that I'm going to come up with a schedule, but I don't know what it's going to be. Um, hopefully it fits your guys' needs for when you watch the videos. So that's what I'm going to leave you today, and hopefully the world is here tomorrow. After I vote, uh, I will take you to the polls with me and show you uh, outside the polls. I can't take you in, but I will take you with me tomorrow to vote. And so until then, I will see you tomorrow, and uh, deuces. That was really bad. <laughs>